Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for asking my sister to fix her grown-out two-toned hair for my wedding. I'm 26, and my wedding is coming up in three months. I've got both of my sisters, Sadie, 29, and Olivia, 20, as my maids of honor. This wedding is gonna be big, like we're talking elegant and extravagant because my fiancé and I have tons of friends and family, and we've always wanted to go all out. Now I get along well with both of them, but my younger sister, Olivia, has been making things a bit tricky as one of my bridesmaids. I chose this gorgeous light dusty pink for their dresses, and I was cool with them picking out whatever style they wanted as long as the color stayed the same. But Olivia immediately said she'd feel insecure in that shade because she's super pale, and thought the dress would make her look red. I totally get it, so I suggested a spray tan, trying to be helpful, but she was not having it, like a hard no. And, okay, fair enough. I didn't hear anything else from her about the dresses after that, so I figured we were good. But now, we've hit another snag, and I'm sitting here wondering if I've blown this whole thing out of proportion. Here's the thing, Olivia's been rocking dark brown hair with blonde highlights for years, but about a year ago she decided she wanted to let her hair grow out naturally and get healthy again. Cool, right? Except now we're at the one-year mark, and it's starting to look, not great. Like at first, it was kinda cute, like a ballet vibe, but now her roots are fully grown out and straight up brown. The problem is there's this super harsh line between her natural color and the blonde that's hanging on for dear life for the last eight inches. No blending, just a straight line of, I haven't been to the salon in forever. Olivia has insisted she has her hair down during the wedding, however I don't want her roots and hair on full display during pictures, ceremony and throughout the night. I love my sister and respect what she wants to do with her hair, however, her hair is an eyesore, and I've never seen anyone let their hair look like this for this long. I told her I would pay for anything she wanted done to it, as long as her roots were at least a bit blended for the wedding. She says that she doesn't want to put any more chemicals on it, and is leaving it, and I won't change her mind. I told my hairdresser about Olivia's POV, we go to the same hairdresser and she told me that there are plenty of things she can do for her that can make her hair look blended and still be healthy. Olivia still refuses, despite me offering to pay and telling her hairdresser said, she could make subtle changes and preserve her hair. I should add that her hair is not breaking or fried, she simply wanted a break from dyeing it to get it as healthy as she could, and to grow it out. This day is one of the most important in my life, and having someone in my wedding party with unkept roots is something I don't want. I'm not asking her to cut it or change the color, just blend slash transition the colors. She's irritated because my other sister and mother have told her that she should change it for the sake of not ruining pictures. My sister doesn't want her hair up because she doesn't like how it looks up. People are inventing medical reasons that simply do not apply to her. She doesn't like her hair up, that's her reasoning. Her dress color was made a big deal of until I suggest she can get a spray tan, because I'm not changing the colors of my wedding this close to it. I don't have enough characters to add in every detail of this fiasco, but it is dropped now. Photoshop is a great solution except she'll be in every picture of the wedding party. That is so time-consuming for the photographer that it isn't realistic. I don't expect her to dye her hair completely and put bleach on it again, I just asked her to let our stylist do anything she can to blend the roots. Stylist said she could easily do a gloss with NON permanent dye, and then a hair treatment to ensure her hair is still healthy. Sister won't go for it still, and to answer the question, no, sister does not get her hair trim. She is trying to grow it while still not taking the right steps to do so. I feel like I'm out of options as everything I've suggested to compromise with her, she says no. It's a big deal to me that her hair doesn't look like a Halloween costume while I'm spending so much time and money for this event. AITA for putting away dirty dishes after my mom told me not to. I'm 16, and when it comes to chores, I'll admit, I don't have a ton on my plate. I'm in charge of walking the dog for at least 15 minutes, keeping my room clean and putting away the dishes. Pretty manageable, right? My mom, she's 39, usually handles the dishes, but ever since my stepdad, he's 42, fixed the dishwasher, we've been using it to make things easier. The first time I used the dishwasher, I was putting stuff away and found a broken glass. No biggie, accidents happen. The second time though, some dishes came out still looking dirty, 
so I just put those back in the sink, figuring they'd get washed again, and I'd put them away later. For about a week if I saw something dirty, like maybe a fork or a cup, I'd toss it in the sink and move on. Well, my mom wasn't having it. She sat me down and told me I wasn't doing my chores right, accusing me of just rushing through to get back to my phone. I told her I was only putting stuff in the sink if it was still dirty, but she wasn't buying it. She basically said if I didn't knock it off, she'd take my phone. Fast forward to the next day, I'm doing my dish thing, and I notice some forks and spatulas still look dirty, and a favorite mug had some nasty dishwasher gunk inside. So, remembering what she told me, I went ahead and put everything away, dirty or not. Then, when she came into the kitchen, I sat down at the table and just watched as she noticed the dirty spatula. She sighed and put it in the sink, but when she grabbed her mug and saw the gunk, she flipped out. She asked me what I thought I was doing, and I calmly said I was just putting away all the dishes like she told me. She blew up and said that if something was obviously dirty, I should have put it in the sink. I pointed out that she was contradicting herself, and that's when she took my phone for the day. Now, I'm sitting here wondering if I really did anything wrong. Like, am I the asshole for just following her instructions? Edit, I would like to start off by saying thank you for everyone's input. I do see how most of you see I'm the also I am talking to my tomorrow. One thing I will also be doing is telling her that sometimes I would like her to listen to what I'm going to say, even if I'm in the role. One last thing I would like to mention. I saw a lot of people saying that I was a brat and I'll be in for a rude awakening when I move out, you're wrong. Sorry. Between the ages of 7 and 11, my dad had a hella abusive girlfriend and I was doing everything in the house for myself, my dad and his ex, along with his ex's kids. I know how to do these things. They just are not my responsibilities anymore. I am also at the top of classes and on track for some great universities and jobs. I am also almost fully done writing a novel I plan to publish before I am 19. Thank for listening. So there was certain comment that you have apparently been down voting which I think is terrible as this person has made me think of the situation, and really my whole life in another light. Someone mentioned how they are autistic and sometimes don't understand things right away. I relate to that. A lot. And when it comes to me mentioning what happened with my dad and his ex, I never wanted to use that as an excuse I didn't mean it that way. I was frustrated and annoyed by people saying I'll never amount to anything in life, because that is probably my greatest fear. I honestly don't care if you guys think I'm the asshole or not anymore as I'm already sorting out the situation with my mom, and everyone calling me horrendous things is just making me really upset. Those of you calling me things and absolutely terrorizing me as a human need to grow up. You are an adult who got so annoyed with a teenager having an argument with their mom that you decide to bully her? Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.